Right guys, welcome back. So today we're at this absolutely humongous hall. This place was built in the 1770s and honestly when I say it is phenomenal. So sit back, enjoy yourselves and watch this. Right, so a couple of miles in, we're quite open on this track. We tend to stay away from tracks, to be honest. However, this track is still very, very far away from the actual hall itself. It's still in cover quite a lot. We are coming off the beaten track in a minute. We've got, I'd probably say, a mile and a half, maybe a little bit more, mile, mile and three quarters left to go. And then we should start to open up and see this absolutely phenomenally grand building that we are going to enter today and bring to your screens. So get yourselves a drink, get yourself some popcorn if that's your thing, and uh, it's my thing, and uh, enjoy. So we're nearly there now. We're probably at our most exposed, but sometimes you can't always be in cover. We're still in this, so that if somebody comes, we can get quite low. Um, just because we don't want to be seen and be thrown out. You know, we're not playing the hide and seek, peeky booky kind of running around like idiots, but we do want to bring this to, to you guys, and I do want to see it. I think people need to see this. Okay, guys, we're in. So basically, it's took us a while to get here. I'm not saying this in cover route is always the best. There is a direct route in, but you're gonna get seen, you're gonna get thrown off. I mean, this is worth millions and millions of pounds. And I really wanna see it. We're not gonna to touch anything, we're just gonna film stuff. We're not gonna damage anything. So I don't wanna get thrown out. But we're taking our time. We're coming in cover. We're actually on the grounds now. We've been on the grounds for a while, but we're actually still in the garden. We're in the gardens now. We're gonna get closer and then we're gonna step back and we're gonna sit and wait it out for a bit and see if there's any security patrolling, any dogs, any vehicles, etc., etc. Even if we're there for half an hour, at least we get a kind of a sight picture of what's going on. I hope you're excited. I am, you probably can tell. Smash that thumbs up button if you are, and uh, let's get this done. Right guys, so this, I'm gonna go really quiet now because we need to whisper. We don't wanna give ourselves away. But look at this. Look at this little path through the forest we've come up against. And this beautiful, absolutely phenomenal statue. Look, We've got a gentleman here, look, or a young lad with his dog just sitting there. Beautiful, that is. That is phenomenal. If you reference, I'm six foot. That gives you a concept of actually how big that truly is. And then if I go in here, I mean, look at that. That's a deliberate path, but we're going to go the other way. Right, and right on the location that we wanted to enter this site. We've got, we've got us to the right, exactly the right place. Deer, look at that deer. A deer, that is awesome. Now, you've got like a, an outbuilding there, like a balcony. You've got a big pool here. But now, guys, wait till we bang a left here. You wait till you see these stairs. How beautiful is that? Look at this view. Imagine this with the sprinklers on. All the gardens. This place is unreal. This place originally, I say originally, this place has actually been the film set and actually had James Bond movies filmed here. I mean, doesn't that speak for itself?
somebody in that room there. See that? I'm going to take the camera and put it back on somebody inside. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, somebody right there. Oh, no. This is exactly what the threat is. You take a chance. We've come all this way. Put the security inside. Okay? Can't believe that. disappointed. I think it's going to be a failure. Um, I mean we've put a lot of effort in for this. Um, it's cost us a fair bit of fuel, you know, five hours, four hours driving, plus four hours back. It's uh, disappointing. We're just sitting here now and we're just deciding which which path to take really. I mean, um, I'm thinking we're just going to go onto the grounds. There's definitely security in that. That's not me going, oh security chase. There's definitely security in that end uh, room. So I'm kind of just thinking I might just go onto the grass, pretend to take photos and at least get in communi have communication with the security guard because he might let us in. I doubt it very much, um, especially as it's going to go on the internet. He probably, you know, that shows he's not doing his job. So, but it's that or nothing really. There's, there's security cameras all around it. So it looks like we're literally a couple of months too late. Which is quite disappointing. Right, so we're coming over to the back. The back of the back. There's like a tent there with a few greenhouses. This tree, look at this tree guys. Look at the size of that. Look at that. That is phenomenal. Couple of old sheds, couple of old greenhouse. You have to excuse it. I think I've changed my camera mount, and I seem to, seem to be like that a lot. See these? That's still used. Look. See the plants and flowers and those. I don't know much about flowers, but I'd say they're definitely still used. If you look at those, even this tree. Look, I think it's conkers, is that? Conker tree. Look, awesome. That's one of these little sheds. Look. of all the original photos. But look at that. There's the gardens in its full glory. Not the best light I know but we're uh, we're gonna walk right up to the security window now and basically knock it and say hello. Right I thought I'd show you this. Another massive tree but another concrete statue look Look at this guys, so another kind of like, I don't know, Victorian archway, I'm not really sure how you describe it, but look at that, that is, phenomenal. Yeah. You can see all the gardens are grade one listed, look at all this. Look at all these trees, I mean, look at the size of that. That's about as big as half of my downstairs of my house. Look at this, guys. Yet again, another huge tree. But making most of it this time is this very, very old. Tree swing. Let's check. It looks safe. It looks secure. This could be an epic fail. I'm 
enjoying my life and I'm bringing this to you on YouTube. I'm swinging in the grounds of a hall which was built in the 1770s and I'm currently swinging on probably a Victorian rope swing, tree swing, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, but I'm not going to overdo it because I don't want to damage it. But that is awesome. I don't know what these are here. I don't know what this is. Some kind of a septic tank maybe. I don't know. There's buildings here. There's a tent there. So we're back into the open. We're going to just be bold now because we've sneaked and peeked around if you like and we've kind of Security don't know we're here, but it does get to the point where you know, we want to see this place. Move round to your left. Stay, stay, stay. There's a vehicle just leaving, guys. There it goes. Which is a taxi. That was a taxi and a D license plate on the back. Registered taxi, so. So one's obviously been dropped off here. I mean, there's new cameras, there's chrome cameras. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, fly. <coughs> yeah, there's chrome cameras all over this place. So, we're just gonna be bold now, guys. We're just gonna walk up to it. It disappoints me, but we're just gonna, just gonna do it. It's gonna get caught and at least then we can at least talk to someone and I can try and secretly get a bit of information out of them but I mean they're probably not going to give me anything so we'll go and have a look so this is it guys we've pulled the plug and we've just come bare we've just come straight at the front I mean it's not long now and we're going to get spoken to and thrown off but look at that this Reopened as a spa and a hotel in 2015 and it actually closed for good in 2017 and it has been abandoned until then but recently it's been the Daily Mail and stuff and then obviously that press and coverage has just alerted the owner and then by the look of it now they've put security on it. I mean that's a Merc there, he's that security company that's like actually the owner's come to see it. I don't know. So what a shame. You can see there's, there's, there's there's um, lawn mowers and stuff there, so they keep the grounds quite well. I mean, the grounds are huge. This place goes on for miles. But you can't win them all, so we're going to carry on round. Right, so I've took my hat off. We're just going to leave this filming now, because we're about to get caught. We're literally going to play football on the ground, so. Come on here, you mate. Sorry. They're just over here. Uh, we're just coming to have a little look, I've taken a couple of photos. Right guys, so we're leaving. I mean, I am massively, 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 massively disappointed. I mean, I've really, really pushed the boat out a lot. This is during the week. We don't ever explore during the week, so we don't know if it's that. We kind of felt that, because these places tend to get busier on the weekends, normally security's heightened, if you like, on the weekends, but we're on our way out now i'm very disappointed thanks for watching i'll probably i might be back who knows but i'll see you next time